welcome back welcome to another weekly vlog i'm really sorry there wasn't a vlog last week basically i did film and i had it all edited up but it just wasn't very good i had such a productive first half of the week and because it was so productive i didn't really film much in the first part of the week and then the second part of the week came around and I just honestly was so tired all week that I didn't really want to film and I didn't really do much to be honest. So it didn't make for a very good vlog and I decided to just keep it in the archive. Yeah, so we're going to try it again this week. Hopefully this week is a slightly better week. Honestly, I don't know what happened last week. It started so well and I was feeling so productive and then all my energy just crashed in the second part of the week. It is Monday though, we are starting off the week strong. I've been really productive this morning and just been editing away. I'm so ready to get back on top of it with editing and honestly, it might take like up to a month to get fully back into it, but I'm so ready to be back into it. And as well, just being really efficient with the time that I need to edit, I feel like if I've got the whole week where I can be editing I will just use that whole week to edit where I probably could get a lot more done just saying I need to get this done today I need to get this done today and being very accountable with myself to do that because as I said I can have one video that needs editing and if it doesn't need editing until like the next week I will spend the whole week doing that video which is definitely not good I know it's not good, I need to be better with that I think. So the next few weeks I'm just going to see how many days I actually need to be editing, how much I can get through in them days and then just set in a bit more of a routine around working and taking some days off so that I'm not constantly doing editing work and that I'm not like leading myself towards burnout again. I need to do a little bit more editing this afternoon. I want to be done by like the end of a traditional work day. So like four or five o'clock and then just take the evening to chill out a bit. And yeah, last week was not that productive, but I did actually get a lot read and a lot watched as well. So I read Ali Hazelwood's new book last week and I was really hoping for that to be a part of the vlog. I did film it last week, but as I said, that vlog just wasn't very good. So I have read that, I gave it a four stars. I thought it was really good. Better than Check and Mate in my opinion, but not as good as her original three books. And then I've also still been reading Cleopatra and Frankenstein. That book has put me in a little bit of a slump to be honest. And I feel like Not In Love brought me straight back out of that. And now I'm just trying to read like the last 100 or so pages of Cleopatra and Frankenstein. Tick that off and move on to a better book because I thought that book was going to be so good. It was like dubbed as the next normal people and it was set in New York. I feel like for a list of things that would be good in a book for me, those two things should be like right near the top and it just hasn't met my expectations, I don't think. I feel like there isn't enough of a plot for us to be rooting for any character. They're very surface level characters in my opinion anyway. I don't feel like I've connected with any of the characters to be honest. I have heard that Blue Sisters is a lot better than Cleopatra and Frankenstein so maybe eventually I'll give that a go but honestly I think I'm just going to stay clear for a little bit and judge reaction a bit more before I purchase it. I also want to wait for the paperback if I do read it because I have the paperback of Cleopatra and Frankenstein so it'd be annoying to have the paperback of one and the hardback of the other. At the moment that is looking on track for three stars. I'll keep you in the loop. As I said I have about 100 pages left so hopefully we can get through that in the early part of this week. And then because I haven't really been wanting to do that much I've just been watching films for like a lot of the weekend so on Friday I watched Perfect Days that film was so good I absolutely loved the cinematography I loved the development of Harry Yama's character and how he doesn't really speak a lot at the start and then he comes a lot more out of his shell towards the end 
I feel like it was the perfect slice of life film. He had a very normal job, we see very normal interests, but something about it was so magical and I feel like it was honestly such a good film. And don't even get me started on that soundtrack because oh my god it was unbelievable and I've added a lot of them to an editing playlist that I can have on in the background whilst I'm working away. I gave it a 4.5 stars on Goodreads. Okay I'm just editing but I definitely meant to say letterboxed instead of Goodreads. I haven't gave it a 5 just because I feel like there was something missing. I have no idea what but I feel like there was something missing so i couldn't give it a five i don't think it was a five but it was very close to a five so i gave it a 4.5 i also decided to watch singing in the rain i feel like that film has been on my radar for so so long and i just feel like because it's one of them old films i just haven't really wanted to watch it i feel like there was a lot of overlaps with La La Land and I decided actually to watch La La Land the next day because of how reminiscent it was for me. The comedy was actually hilarious. I loved Cosmo's character so much and the musical pieces were incredible and that dream ballet was something else. And I can 100% see how Greta Gerwig got her inspirations from Singing in the Rain for Barbie particularly with the dream ballet of I'm Just Ken and the dream ballet in Singing in the Rain. I honestly thought Singing in the Rain was going to be one of them films that people talk so highly about and then it has nothing really to back it up and that is probably why I've held off so long to watch it. However, it exceeded so many expectations and that film was definitely a five star film and I will be re-watching soon. And then as well, La La Land, incredible. I actually preferred it this time round to when I first watched it. My first watch was a three stars, so something in watching that mustn't have connected properly because when I rewatched it yesterday, it was then a four stars. Ryan Gosling, incredible. Emma Stone, incredible. The chemistry on screen together is something else and that soundtrack just has banger after banger. So yeah, definitely enjoying my films at the moment. Okay, it's now two weeks later. I've not vlogged, obviously, since that last bit of footage, but I just felt like this vlog didn't really have like a closing place where it was. So I wanted to film a little bit more this week. I've had a pretty, not bad start to the week, but I guess just a bit of a mess start to the week. Yeah, it's not really been the best start to the week. My skin is really bad. I feel like that is like the visual telltale sign that I've not had a great week and I'm not really a napper and I was asleep from literally like six o'clock yesterday right through to this morning. I did get up for like an hour or two at like nine and then literally went straight back to sleep and got up at about eight, nine this morning. I have been reading quite a bit since I last picked up this video or start this video should I say. So I think I talked about being about halfway through Cleopatra and Frankenstein. I have finished that book finally. I gave it a three stars. Honestly I was just over it and I feel like I shouldn't have been over it because it is my type of book. I can't remember if I said that already or not but for some reason this book just didn't really click with me in the way I thought it would and I was so ready to be done with it but thankfully I am finished with it now and it's out my brain. It's not put me in a reading slump to be honest. I think I caught myself 
quick enough that I could just read another book, pick it back up, power through it and then move on to the next book before I got time to be in a slump. But yeah, anyway, I gave it a three stars. I don't really want to talk about it that much because I did not enjoy it. So then when I was done with that, I wanted a really quick read to pull me out of that like funk of reading. I've been wanting to read this author for a while. I feel like I've seen her everywhere online at the moment. So I picked up Nora Goes Off Script by Annabelle Monaghan. So it's about a screenwriter who typically writes Hallmark movies and she writes a movie that ends up being picked up by a major production company and they use her house as part of the film and then the lead male stays for slightly longer and we follow their relationship together and how it develops. The only way I can describe this book is it feels like a Hallmark movie that she would write but in book form. I really enjoyed it, it was a really quick read to be fair and I gave it a full stars. And then my most recent read was Betting On You by Lynn Painter. I read better than the movies a year or two ago, I can't really remember, maybe a year ago and I really enjoyed that book and her style of writing and I actually really loved this book. I thought it would be a bit 50-50 on if I'd like it and I ended up really being obsessed with it. The two leads kind of connect over the fact that they are from families with divorced parents and they meet on a flight and are actually really annoyed by each other at the start and then they kind of become friends and then obviously more so it's kind of a bit enemies to lovers a bit friends to lovers slightly mixed i flew through this book i was actually obsessed with it and obviously five star book i really want to read the do-over and then i have nothing like the movies pre-ordered as well so i really like her writing i feel like it just clicked so well and I flew through it and then I've also been feeling in a bit of a funk with my room I feel like for so long I've been wanting to get new furniture and stuff and then I finally got all that furniture and because it's all white it feels like my room's kind of been washed out quite a bit so I wanted to get some prints and stuff for the wall I'm starting small I've only got two to begin with but I think I also want to put some more above my desk so the ones I started off with are quite big to be fair. I got two that I felt were quite me and would be me for a while. So the first one actually hasn't arrived yet. It looks like this. It is a New York print and I'm so obsessed with New York. I really want to go and I feel like the day I go, I'm not going to shut up about it. And I also feel like seeing it on the wall will be super motivational when I'm like working and stuff in my room and then I also wanted one that was a bit of a reminder to myself to not be so hard on myself and that I'm fine and good and making progress where I am and one of my favorite songs is Vienna by Billy Joel I feel like everyone probably is obsessed with that song oh my god it doesn't fit in the scene but anyway I'm so obsessed with that lyric and I feel like that is going to be such a good reminder that I can see on the wall and just process it a lot of the time. But yeah, they're the two I'm starting off with and I'm going to put them above my bedside table. One this way and one this way. As I said, I'm still waiting for the New York one to actually come and then when it does, we're going to put them up. So that will be a part of this vlog, hopefully. I do really want them up before I go on holiday. I also haven't told my sister about it, so surprise as i said i do also want some above my desk i am waiting to upgrade myself a little bit and see what that looks like and see if it actually needs prints as well because part of me thinks that if i upgrade myself then maybe it won't need it but yeah i'm super happy with the prints i've got so far I feel like it's gonna make the room feel a little bit nicer, less white, and it'll break up the wall a little bit. I really wanna take this week to just let myself feel better, take it slow, and I know I'm gonna be able to relax on holiday, but obviously if I'm not feeling great about myself, then I'm not gonna have a great time on holiday. So I really wanna just let myself sit in it now. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'll probably watch some YouTube and 
um, yeah, do some journaling, I think. Oh, my eyes are quite black. Oh, I didn't realise I had mascara under my eyes. That's great.